last week they, they was rumble. And I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you be so aggressive? Because I'm very defensive. Right. Get, be, get behind him. He talking about that. Uh, that uh, don't try to, don't try to, don't try to, you know, approach me with that aggressiveness. I'm going to put my defense up. My shield, my sword. Right. Now hit him with that sword. The two edged sword, the two right sword. Yeah, I hit with the two edged sword. See, I, I don't condone violence. I don't condone the truth. Now, if you step wrong in, in my direction, it's my obligation. Since I know the truth, to correct me. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. That day don't come. The Lord don't point at the time for violence. That time comes. Say that word with me. Share, share blessing on me. This is Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob us. shall no more again stay upon him that slope him, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall be shall return, either, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption creed shall overflow with righteousness. Right, because Israel's as numerous as the sands of the sea. There's more Israelites on earth than any other people. But only a remnant is gonna come out here and do this work like we're doing. We out here building up that tabernacle. This is that temple. You know, in the ancient world, they had a temple. Solomon built a temple. Yeah. He made a temple out of stone, but we the stones now. Now we building this temple. You know the scriptures say about the uh, the stone that the builder refused. You know that scripture? I probably know it, but I have to. Yeah. My mind. Well, could the build? You know what I'm saying? That's that temple right here that we building up. That tabernacle. This is what it, the scriptures call the tabernacle of David. Like the stone. I call this in. You know, you have to go to church. The church is your soul. When you put the word in your yeah. soul and you believe. You no, know, that means this temple right there. This is church right here. Yeah, this is church right yeah. here. Peace be with you, brother, man. All right, All right then, bro. Peace be with you. Careful out there. No, go ahead. Oh, I got a couple of them. Yeah, I got, I got two, but get that one one you quoted. You know, I keep my home. Stone. You know, I keep my home. Got that thing the banana clips. <laughs> right, right. First Peter 2 and uh, we see 2 and 4. To whom coming as unto a lively stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God in depression. He also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood offer up spiritual, spiritual sacrifices. All right, this, uh, hold up. this right here is a spiritual sacrifice. Right here, we send up that sweet savior. You know what I mean? Uh, us teaching is a sweet savior. The savior. So if you want to please the Most High, you better come out and do this work. This, this is the only kind of sacrifice because you come out here and we sacrifice ourselves, our physical bodies. We give that we, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's an act of selflessness, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This whole thing is all about sacrifice. Going back to Yahweh Shah, he, he sacrificed himself for his people. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to follow in his footsteps. Hey, go ahead, read the rest there. It says, verse 6. Wherefore also it is contained. In the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect, precious, and he that believe on him shall not be confounded. Yeah, he that believe on him shall not be confounded. And we ain't gonna be confounded. <laughs> Go ahead. That's why we know all things. Yo, through the spirit, we know all things. And can't nobody stand against us. Hey, plus, uh, uh, law, fuck this life, whatever you call it. IFC, like whatever. Yeah. They're gonna go to a lawyer and tell him, I did this, I did that. Yeah. They're gonna say, I don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Yup, yup. They're gonna go to a lawyer that believes in him, shall not be confounded. Yeah, he that believes on him. Right. It says, unto you, therefore, but believe he is precious. But unto them, which be disobedient, the stone was the beautiful.
good is this allowed? The same is made the head of the corner. I got a big sneeze coming. I see a third chapter. I see a third chapter. Love Jesus. Yeah, but look, like the Lord, yeah, how shot himself? He was a lively stone. He was the liveliest of all the stones. And what happened? The builders refused him. On his last, he didn't say no like it when the word come out. Yeah, no, every time that good points come out, it gets noisy. Noisy or windy and shit. That's why you can't give up on it. You got to keep pushing. Hold it. Give him balls. Right. Why well, Like I say, the Lord was... Yeah, I was... <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a lively stone, right? But the, the, the builders refused him. But who was the builder? He was the stone that the builders refused, right? The high priest Caiaphas refused him. The scribes and Pharisees, the chief priests... The rulers of Israel at that time refused him. The nation of Israel as a whole refused him. And they killed him. They crucified him and said, we have no king but Caesar. You see that? So we, so, so we the same thing. We, we the same as the Lord. We the stones that the builder refused. But like, this, did you read all of that where it said that uh, the stone that the builder refused to become the head of the corner, which is the most important stone in the whole building? Okay. Says, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the world, at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Matthew 7 and uh, 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, loud, loud, <laughs> shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the Father, Yahweh, which him Yahweh shine, which is in heaven. So, you talking about Isaiah, third chapter of it, is not going to enter the kingdom? <laughs> Because Isaiah third chapter love to say Lord Lord. That's just a new name for these women, the Isaiah third chapter. Isaiah. You call them I3. The T3. The T one thousand. Uh, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not I, I, I wanna see one prophecy of the church and who I feel out there. So, some, some of them, some churches will prophesy, but they usually the little, uh, they the, they're not the, like the mainstream ones, but they, they get everything else wrong. Because some of them do teach about the mark of the beast. You know what I mean? We get, to be honest, so, yeah, some of them do teach about stuff like, but that's still, yeah, right, on the Bible belt and all that. But they still go off. They still don't get the Israel thing. They, don't, they still ain't teaching about the, the children of Israel. Right, they still teaching the name Jesus. They won't go into the Hebrew. Or yeah, they'll call him Yeshua, some other madness. UFOs. They won't go into UFOs. You know what I'm saying? And they won't go into the prophecy of Edom. And what's going to happen to the, e the Edomites? Because the scriptures clearly say that the Edomites are all going to be exterminated. So that proves right there that the Lord did not come to save all nations. If a whole nation is getting exterminated, how can all nations be saved? That doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. I mean, because you can have any retard pick up a Bible and start reading it. You know what I mean? Start, start babbling some nonsense. But once you actually study this book, you'll, you'll see the truth for yourself as clear as day. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. Right, you see IUIC be out there, low, low. They casting out, they cussing out devils, Edomites, all that. They might do a little bit of that, but the Lord's still going to say he don't know you. Y'all make, y'all mock the faith. This devil texted me the other day, man, and she did dumbass. You know, she did a group text. You know, when you can text a whole bunch of people at one time, send the same text, and all them numbers come through. All her niggas tight, you know. Oh, that's true. Anyway, this bitch was collecting uh, They was doing work for me and Shelter, collecting all of this money and shit like that. Making they doing the Lord's work. That's their good work. That's their good work for the wicked. And ain't none of that money going to the poor people. Like you'll watch TV. I, I don't watch. I ain't watched TV in years, but I remember them commercials. 
you be seeing they come up to commercials that show like starving Ethiopians, the children of Africa, flies buzzing on their head, and be like, for like one dollar a day, you can feed a child. Right. You know, ain't none of that money going to them children. That's all a scam. Haiti fund that. Yeah, the Haiti fund. Yeah, the Clintons. The Clint hey, they got found out that they was keeping all the money. They yeah. proved it to Clinton. It was the Clinton Bush Foundation. Or yeah, the Clinton Foundation, but Bush was in on it. And they got they found out that yeah, they was keeping most of the money. Yeah, my wicked ass cousin was in for that shit too. My wicked ass cousin. Fuck these people, man. And then, verse 23, and then will I let me verse 322. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Of course he ain't doing somebody ain't calling his name. Right. You get you could get like we already said, you get saved by your faith if you actually believe this thing, man. That, that's that's it. That's the only thing that can save you. Yep, the spirit. That's the, the only way you're gonna make it. It's the only way. Um, John, say John, eight to four, three. No, John, say John, eight to four, one. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fortification. We have one father, even God. Yahweh I said unto them. If the Most High were your father, he would love me. For the seed of the that came from the Most High, neither came I of myself, but I said, Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of him. Yeah, I was talking to them Pharisees. What was the main thing the Pharisees harped on? Israelites. Yeah, it's talking about Israelites. Because the main thing the Pharisees was on was the law, the law, the law. Keep the law, keep the law, keep the law. You know what I mean? But he said, you are your father the devil. And they say, if, you, if, you, if your father was my father, then you, you would accept me. You know what I mean? Here we ain't seen it. We accept him. That says greater is our faith than an apostles in this city. Hebrews 10 and 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were not made the things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaking. By faith Enoch was translated, that he should not see them, and was not found, because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Impossible. Verse 6 again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. <laughs> I can't read that enough. Right. <laughs> Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. And, and that faith, that's what gets brothers on the streets teaching. Yeah. Faith. Faith. That's all about faith. Because yeah. ain't nobody, I tell you right now, ain't nobody in this camp. Never knew you. <laughs> ain't nobody in this camp keeping that law perfectly. <laughs> I mean, we try. We don't eat no we pork. Do we, we do the best we can and all that. We do the best we can and all that. Yeah. At least we, at least we try, making an effort. Now you ain't gonna see none of us eat no pork. I tell you that. Adultery too. We ain't gonna commit no adultery. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we not living lawlessly. I got flies chasing me all through the day, all through the week, man. I gotta turn my back. <laughs> Not just us. I call them two. Uh, uh, what you call them? I threes. The I threes. I three. Uh, I three. Isaiah threes. They flies, man. They filthy flies, man. Maggots. They talk about we third men are thirsty when they the most thirsty. Now they be thirsty. The world, These bitches lay it down with anybody and everybody, man. Hoping they can get it. Hoping they struck gold. Hoping they hit the lottery, you know? 
because that's their motives to feed their filthy ass. That's why you see on the internet they got their little different profiles on different sites. I want a kind and generous man. They always throw that generous in there. I want a kind and generous man. When they can have an intellectual conversation. Yeah, and they always want to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like whole intelligent conversation. Like, when you sit there with a woman, she don't be such and she ain't got shit to say, man. She don't know about nothing. I bet you can't even name, you know what I'm saying? Can't even name two kings of Israel. Can't tell you, can't give you a date. Can't even give you a date on when the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Roman Empire was in existence. Now give them something simple, man. Well, that's simple. That's basic history. That's basic. I mean, they can't say when the United States was formed. They don't, oh, that's going, that's way too deep for them right there. They never even heard of Esau. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, you see the, the be man on the street videos. People go around with cameras. And Americans, especially the women, they can't even tell you what July 4th represents. They thought it was from World War II. You know what I'm saying? These people are gone out here, bro. We were still slaves in 1776. Yep. We was going to cook the food for them motherfuckers and send them tables. So they, 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 um, they celebrated their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You want to really know the truth, the root of that joke on July 4th shit. You got to go back to the Jews. That's right. I heard too uh, during the Crusades there was a I don't know if it has any connection but I heard people make a connection. But uh, you remember Saladin, the the Muslim he, he was a uh, he was a uh, where was he from? He was an Armenian. He was actually a Turk though, a Turkish Muslim. He could have been an Edomite, be honest with you. But uh, Saladin had exterminated what a uh, Crusader army on the, the July the fourth day. You know you know that was the Israelites going back trying to. Uh, uh, weed out them Muslims, but it, yeah, there, there's something that, the demonic about that July Fourth day. You know what I mean? You know what Esau? Everything, but Esau, everything is Kabbalistic. He, you know, the devil's in the numerology, magic. You know what I mean? He does everything according to dates and numerology. Just like 9/11. You know what I'm saying? The scripture said it was the Magi, right? Yeah, but it was, because you know, the scripture tell you that Israel went to the Eastern captivity. So you had Israelites living in Persia, living in Babylon. It was wise. Daniel, hey, let's get that Daniel the first chapter. They was cunning and knowledge and all that. It's a great, it's all your Yep. Real quick, just a cycle of prophecy. You got to have a, a, a solar eclipse, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. up. I think it's, uh, I forgot. It's like real soon, though. Well, I so think I'm trying it's to, next chapter. Right. Because there's a, there's a giant meteor coming this way, too, that everybody's confirming. It's a big ass meteor. Oh, that crashed right into the state. <laughs> house. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they call yeah. it. They call there's it, a uh, lot of shit happening out there, man, that's going to affect the I forgot what exactly they call it. They call it like Great American or something because only if we see an American, it's America. Wow. Right? wow. We're not going to be able to see wow. it fully here though. Wow. I got to find I got to find I read it. I saw it. I didn't read it. Like, so I'm, when I was in high school, we had a full solar eclipse and went dark during the day. It was like 95, 94 or something like that. We had a, uh, when we was in the truth, came in the truth the first or second year, there was a, a solar eclipse with Passover. Yep, I remember that. And also, right when we first came into truth, there was a Saturn. Remember when Saturn appeared big as hell right by the moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gigantic. It's a massive. The photos is on the internet. Yeah, that, that, that's the biggest I've ever seen. I mean, it's Saturn amazing. was huge. It's amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. I, mean, I don't know how to read the stars all like that, but hey. You tremendous. I'm starting to learn the location of stars and stuff. Yeah. I learned a little bit at that time, you know what I mean? I got Because okay. your Esau gets bugged out on the stars. Because you know there's a left-hand side and a right-hand side to the stars. He did, you know, the scriptures talk about the stars, Arcturus, the Pleiades, that's all in the scriptures. Oh, um, that's in the... Joe? Joe, yeah. 
Okay, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, he would teach the Ah, that's crazy, loud ass shit, bro. Hope that cop crashes into a telephone pole. For real, this But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to your house must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Diligently seek him. I like like uh, the book of Romans with the 10th chapter. It said, uh, you know, there's some to believe but not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. so you're supposed to believe this according to knowledge. I mean, we got faith in everything. But it, there's a proper way to go about things. There's a proper doctrine. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be diligent. You be diligently seek the Lord. I mean, you could, you could say you believe in God, but... I mean, what's his name? What's his people's name? You know what I'm saying? Rob. What is his name? Because you know, you ask people, what's God's name? Oh, he has many names. And what is his son's name? Right. So that's why we seek after the Lord diligently. Like the scriptures say, you got to study to show that self approved. Even though knowledge, accumulate knowledge ain't going to save you, but you still got to study. Because you, you got to make sure you sharp. So when people come out here, we, we you gotta refute all that madness. Like we was talking, we made a video the other day, and uh, you know some people gonna come out here while we're teaching, and they gonna ask you some hard questions. They gonna ask some difficult questions. Which, I guess, and, you know, I mean that's the Lord testing you, not them. That's the Lord testing you to see if you on your game. You have an angel come up and be, you know, what I mean you don't know what could happen. Somebody gonna come up when you out here teaching, they gonna ask you a very difficult question. Well, and you better have an answer for this it. This is one part. Right? If anybody can ask a question, somebody can know. Uh, we don't know, but that's why I'm saying. But that's why you but that's why you gotta be diligent. So you ain't out there working, being diligent, studying and stuff, you're gonna get confounded. You know what I mean? Somebody gonna come up and make you look stupid. That's why you gotta stay in your game. You got you gotta uh you, you use your sword a lot, you gotta sharpen your sword. You don't sharpen your you going out of battle every day, you're not sharpening your sword, it's gonna get dull. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Let us therefore fear you should promise being left us to enter into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For to us with the gospel preached as well to them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. What was that? Okay. Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us then for fear which the promise being left us to enter into a rest in the future city to come for it. For unto us and the gospel preached as well as to them, but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith and then the hurt. Alright. Because you got because faith is the number one thing you're supposed to be teaching about. Do the church. From what to do the church. Attentive, assiduous, is assiduous. And attentive. I got a script. I got a script for you. Hey, this go. This is spirit. I was watching uh, with Elder Gabar's video he made about the word. What was that erudite video about being an erudite? Cause you're not safe for having all that knowledge, but we still gonna have all that knowledge. You see that? That's how that works. But I wanna read this real quick. Uh, Book of Daniel, this going, we, I don't know we all over the place, but we was talking about, uh, you know, Israel, about how the, you know, the wise men came. They seen the stars in the heaven. You know what I mean? They seen the sign in the heaven. And they knew that the, the, the Messiah was born. So they went and they brought them gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But, but like the brother said today, it was Israelite. Right? But that's true. I'm going to show y'all something. Daniel uh, 1 and 3. And the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well-favored, skillful in all wisdom, 
and cunning and knowledge and understanding science and such had ability them to stand in the king's palace to whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans. But it was saying, you know, that the Israel, we, we was learning all that wisdom, all the sciences. And like your brother said, we all one body. When we all together, man, we bad, we can't be dealt with. Because brother's got all kind of different knowledge. He knows stuff I don't know. He knows stuff, you know, we all know different stuff. You know what I'm saying? And when we together, they can't nobody deal with us. The Israel's, we cunning in that knowledge. Understanding science. Oh man, look at this madness he's wearing. We up there playing a hotel. The spirit had it, so we didn't say nothing to him. I didn't know what to say when I looked at that shirt. I didn't see That was bugged out. Some people pushing Egypt In Egypt, it's right up there with Esau in the scriptures. That's like next to Edom, Egypt's number two on the most hated nation. You know what I'm saying? That's a close thing too. Some guy dated Egypt, bro. Okay, back to Hebrews 11, 7 there. 